five seconds and usually I clamp the cord right on top of your tummy. So baby's gonna come out screaming, baby's gonna go straight to your chest, assuming baby gives me a healthy cry. We wait 45 seconds before dad clamps and cuts the cord. And then we know most of that benefit is the first full hour. That hour helps for whatever reason to regulate the baby's temperature, regulate the baby's glucose levels. It actually will slow your bleeding calms the baby. This baby's used to hearing your heartbeat from the inside. It calms you. It helps with that immediate bonding and nurturing that takes place. And from a breastfeeding standpoint, it turns on those breastfeeding cues like, hey, the baby's here. We have to make milk. Lots of literature has shown that women who basically have skin to skin for that first hour of life will produce more milk um, realistically for their babies long term. And everything after that is kind of golden and bonus, keeping the baby in the room with you, rooming with your baby in your room, not sending baby to the centralized nursery. That way not only you can already learn those cues, but you can do continued skin to skin time, which is those pheromones, those chemical connections between you and baby, knowing that we need to produce milk. Your breasts are kind of like a gasoline station, so the more they are empty, the more they will fill back up. So with each feed, you wanna offer baby both breasts. If baby tends to prefer one breast, then the alternative is you pump the other. Um, if baby has problems with latching, we have assisted devices to help with latches or inverted nipples or certain positions that can help baby um, prefer one way or the other. Um, if breastfeeding by nipple is not the option and it's not easy, then we still still have the options of doing it by pumping. So there can be hurdles, yes, but there's the end of the day, the benefit is the breast milk that we're trying to get to baby. Okay. The first couple of days, you will produce the colostrum, the yellow gold milk, very low in quantity, but high in quality. Baby's stomach is about the size of a marble, so baby doesn't need much. Baby's gonna cry not only because baby's hungry, but because baby's wet, baby doesn't understand light, baby doesn't understand cold or noise. So that is the baby's only way to communicate, and crying doesn't necessarily mean baby's hungry. The next question that we get in the hospital is, well, how do I know if I'm feeding baby enough? The pediatricians will talk to you about the number of wet diapers, pee pee diapers, poo poo diapers, and that's kind of how we figure out hydration and status in addition to those weight checks. Okay. So you've already done that basic kind of, yes, I'm gonna breastfeed. Yes. Now it's kind of mentally continuing to prepare yourself. And then yes, I wanna be honest, it's not easy. Your nipples are gonna hurt. You've never had that type of pressure and suction device on your nipples ever, okay? Never.